Hey Taurus, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for September 2018 and make sure you click in the description box down below and check out the new Stormy Grace merch in partnership with my friends over at Bad Manners. You can check them out in the description box down below as well. All right, Taurus, hey, um, these planets are not in retrograde anymore so that it's so very, very, very exciting which means we've got forward motion this month and everywhere from romance to children, uh, joy and expression to career you have really got a lot going on this month so let's jump in here and let's talk about this business okay now right at the beginning of the month we've got mercury our very mental and communication planet moving into the sign of virgo who is naturally mercury ruled right so this is a very intellectual communicative um this is a very heady kind of energy right but wherever the sun is at we are wanting to express ourselves we've got light heat life vitality going here we put that together with mercury and we've got some things floating around up here maybe some things you've been thinking about right and this is happening in the fifth house for you so I definitely think right here as we begin this month if you've been trying to um, express yourself on something if you've been trying to have a conversation or you need to do a speech or you need to do something like that this is a lot of beautifully wrapped communication energy to help you out maybe you've been wanting to holler at a special somebody and you're like oh hey this could be the month where you decide to do that. You've got forward motion going this month. You know, I will tell you that because there's also going to be a new moon happening in this fifth house, and don't worry, I'll get to that. But if you are single and you've been wanting to date or you've been wanting to move into that arena, these are great energies to help you with that because it's fresh. It's a new start. It's a very brand new welcoming let's do something new kind of energy now i didn't forget if you're partnered up this could be a time where you decide to do something together you want to take a trip you want to just bring more joy into your life the fifth house is the house of conception so whether it's conceiving a new idea or a baby this is definitely some baby making energy so if that's what's on your agenda this month as well this is a lot of beautiful energy to help stimulate the baby making not only desire but the actual activity itself now i will say too because because this is something in the fifth house and we're right around school time if you have school age kids or you're involved in them in some way this could be a lot of intellectual things happening for children at this time so kind of keep that in mind you can have something you know maybe you're attending um I don't know a speech or something at, at someone's school or, or one of your kids you know gets gets a prize and they're giving a speech or something like that whatever it is it's a very joyful energy though okay as we get to the sixth, Saturn, who's been asleep for five months, is coming out of retrograde in your ninth house, okay? Now, this is also in a grand trine energy where he's coming... Um, direct so for some of you what this could mean because remember saturn's a maturing energy he wants to take you to the next level he wants to help you to achieve but the only way he can do that is by having you mature from the inside out and it's very uncomfortable usually you have to work very hard you feel stuck you feel like you're hearing the word no all the time right it could be very intense in that way so for some of you this has been a very strong development of faith right and remember faith's not what i believe it's what i'm actually doing right so there could have been a lot of that where you're growing from the inside out especially with Saturn being retrograde for other people this ninth house could mean you're finishing up something in education you know are you moving to another level moving to higher education or completing a degree a certification licensing something like that some of you could be traveling learning another language things like that but whatever it is Saturn has been working to take you to the next level that grand trine energy will help you because it creates the opportunity for you to do something brilliant with the new maturity that you have gain okay now on the ninth we've got this new moon happening in virgo beautiful energy because the new moon first of all says that something has to be or we're going to plant our seeds of intention that's what we're doing at the new moon we're starting over so this is a fresh new start for you remember you've also got mercury and the sun floating up here so a wonderful fresh start kind of energy now for you this is also of course in that fifth house and like i said you want to have babies you want to start a project you want to do something joyful you want to do something with kids this is your fresh start so plant those seeds of intention what do you want this to look like where do you want to go with this right now on the same day venus your ruling planet is going to move over into scorpio um with Jupiter so in the seventh house this is love and expansion and diplomacy and beauty and harmony brought to your relationships now keep in mind relationships are not just your romantic relationships although this could this could so 
certainly be that, right? You can have some harmony flowing here, a little bit of romance, a little bit of, you know, hey, right? But this could also be about new partnerships in your life, right? Or partnerships that have been in your life, people you've been connected to. This could be bringing some um, harmony to your relationship with you. That is certainly something that has been in flux and been in change, right? So a lot of harmony, a lot of good opportunity and good energy brought to the table there. Now on the 11th, Mars, who is now out of retrograde, thank goodness, okay, <laughs> is coming out of retrograde in the sign, or is going to be moving into the sign of Aquarius now that he's out of retrograde. And this is the tip top of your chart. Taurus, we've spent the last few months talking about working on, looking at, re-looking at your career. And this is the career energy, right? This is a wonderful move forward, action, initiation, um, assertion kind of energy you want to launch a new project you have you have some stamina you have some fight in you you have some passion in you to move something with your career forward now you know let's just say that you are retired right okay fine it doesn't change you still have this energy in your back pocket because the 10th house is not just about that career where you get up and go make money it's also about your soul level calling what are you getting up in the morning to give and offer to the world what talent are you giving and offering to the world that's what the 10th house is about this could also change your status and your reputation here Taurus let's just say that you graduated you finished school with that Saturn coming direct maybe you have a new title a new degree behind your name right this could be just at a professional and seen in public kind of way this is going to be a boost to what you've got going on in a fresh new place of action for you this could also be a time for promotion and maybe that promotion is hey guess what I found out during um, Mars retrograde I don't want to work here anymore <laughs> best promotion ever, right? You can get busy doing what you want to do. All right, on the 12th, we've got Jupiter and Pluto in a sextile, and I love this right behind that Mars energy because Jupiter and Pluto here, this sextile is purposeful, beautiful, positive change, right? Jupiter's benefic bringing wisdom and opportunity. Pluto is bringing change and adjustment, and we've got to change and adjust to go to the next level, right? So these two in a sextile, when the planets have sex, that's good for us because you will intelligently take this opportunity. You will do something with it. You will bring it forward. So this is a natural development place for you. You've developed some of your skills and talents over this last five months, and I think they very abundantly start showing up for you. Now, on the 18th, this is the tip top point of this energy. I would say 16th, 17th, 18th, right in there. I want you to be careful because what's happening is that Mars, our action planet, is going to be in a square with Uranus. Mars, Uranus in a square is a warring energy, okay? You've got Mars here in the 10th. You've got Uranus in... Um, your sign. So what's going to happen is these two are clashing, right? So something that you want to do, something that you want to be, it, it's clashing here. There's conflict. You want to break free. There is a disruption here. So what I'm going to tell you is don't get caught in the energy. Yes, it's time for you to break free and be that next version of yourself, which is absolutely beautiful. But I would tell you, if someone's bringing conflict to your table, don't act or react in a way that will compromise you publicly right? Because remember that 10th house where Mars is trying to move you forward. Don't let yourself be publicly compromised. Don't compromise your reputation for a reaction. Okay, whatever it is, keep your cool. You will get to learn and break free from this. And as we get towards the end of the month on the 28th, this energy moves out. Now instead, what I think is great to do with this energy is find new ways to be innovative. You maybe can't stay in your career lane as the same version of yourself, but you've got Uranus over here trying to show you a different way to do something as well. And it may be bonking into your old ideas of how you did things. Create, innovate, change, shift. It's okay to have a new idea about how to do this. The other thing I'll tell you is with Uranus in your sign, Taurus, make sure that in the social places, social media, um, your resume, any of those places, make sure that you're current and updated, okay? So that the accurate information does portray who you are at this point in your life. I don't want to see your pictures from high school if you're not in high school, right? Bring it up current, okay? Now on the 23rd, we've got the sun moving into Libra. Remember the sun, wherever it goes, it brings light, heat, life, vitality. I want to shine. I want to show 
show myself here. So this is gonna be in your sixth house, not only daily routines, right, but your health and your wellness. Taurus, man, you've been getting hit in the career gut for a long time. Maybe it's made it so you're not paying as much attention to where your health and fitness and your mental health and fitness is at. It's time to regroup. This is a wonderful energy to do that. This is also great for career. If you're looking for a job, you're looking to do something freelance, you need to hire, you need to fire, um, any of those things. It's a wonderful serving energy. On the 12th, on the 24th, we have got a full moon in Aries, which is in your 12th house. Now, Chiron is also up in Aries. This has a very um, delicious Saturn influence to it as well. So one of the things that I think of for you is that this this moon on the 24th in that 12th house section, it's not only a house of endings, right? But it is a house of endings. It's also the house that we end so that we can transition to something else. Now, with this energy being that Chiron is also here, one of the things that comes up for me with you is that you can be very emotional at this moon. The full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, and adjusted. So we're shutting something down here. We're letting it go so we can move on. You could have things coming up from childhood. Taurus, you could have things and beliefs and ideas, especially things about romance, things about sex, things about money and value could be just coming up and, and you know, you've maybe been worried or anxious or fearful or you've just been carrying some stuff for too long and it's actually been in, in, in a specific, in a way specifically holding you back. And I think at this moon, you're really ready to let that go and move forward. I think you're really ready to see you don't still have to be a version of yourself that you're just not anymore. So, And that Saturn energy helps to ground this down. It's a mature decision that you're making to spiritually let this go like i love it so on the 30th as we end the month we've got pluto coming out of retrograde now remember pluto and saturn have been retrograde for five months so as they are both here in your ninth house they're going to say did you work on what we asked you to work on so that you can mature and move to this next level of your life so pluto here ready to bring that change in that ninth house space for you so i hope you are ready all right, you guys, I love you so much. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. If you need a reading, come see me. If you don't need a reading, thank you so much for watching and spending time with me this month anyways. I love you guys, and I'll see you next month.